Hello everyone, welcome to the Developers and Coders Club of NIT Agartala. So today we are going to solve code forces round triple eight division three third problem that is here. So the question is saying that Vlad remembered that he had a series of n tiles and a number k. The tiles were numbered from left to right and the ith tile has color ci. If you stand on the first tile and start jumping any number of tiles right, you can get a path of length p. The length of path is the number of tiles you stood on. Okay, so Vlad is a, in start, Vlad is at the first tile and he, is, he starts jumping any number of tiles. Okay. Now, uh, at last, when he is on the last tile, the last tile should be equal to the length of the path. Okay. So Vlad wants to see if it is possible to get a path of length P such that. So four conditions are given such that length P, it ends at tile with index N. Okay. So the path, the length of the path should end with index N. Also P is divisible by K. The path is divided into blocks of length exactly K each tiles in each block have the same color the color in adjacent blocks are not necessarily different okay so here is one example the question is basically saying that look here suppose k equal to 3 okay so Vlad is currently at this position first position okay so you have to choose the path like that the last tile of the path should be of color of last color okay also for each color you are choosing the set should be divisible by three okay the set of the same same color should be divisible by three so suppose vlad jumped from this red tile to this red tile okay and then again this red tile to this red tile so the total number of red tiles is 3 which is divisible by 3 okay now the path should end with color having last color so now Vlad jumps from this to this blue color and from this blue color again similarly he will first jump to this to this blue color and then this to the last blue color so here also the set of blue have total 3 which is divisible by 3 so what is your final path your final path will be 3 1 red uh, means 3 tiles of red color and 3 tiles of blue color okay so collectively it is divisible by 3 so your answer is yes okay but consider this test case here k is 4 ok so your path should be divisible by 4 also each set should be divisible by 4 here the condition is given that the path is divided into blocks of length exactly k each it means that each each set of similar color should be divisible by k ok so uh, Vlad started from first position jumps from the next red color again jumps from the next red color again jumps to the next red color okay so up to here uh, the total red color tiles are four okay so now he have to jump to the blue color why blue color because your path should end with blue color tile okay so he jumps from this red color to this blue color tile and from this blue color tile he now can only jump to the blue color tile so he jumps here so what is your final path your final path will be he jumps four red colors so here four red colors and two blue colors so two blue colors but see here that these four red colors are divisible by four but these two blue colors cannot be divisible by four as this is two which can't be divisible by four so your answer will be no understood so yeah this is the basic logic behind this so we will divide the question into two cases the first case is like that 
your first tile and your last tile color the color of first tile and the color of last tile is same if it is same then we will solve then we will solve with different approach and if these two are different the the color of first tile and the color of last tile then we will solve like this okay so if the color of the first tile and last tile is same then what we will do we will just simply jump to the similar color tile and if the count if the number of similar color tile is equal to k then we will break the loop okay and we will print yes okay but if we cannot able to get the um, value of k after uh, that much number of jumps so that we can cover the whole path if we can't able to get it then we will print it no okay so here is the basic code so we have divided the whole question into two cases so what will be the first case that your color of first tile and the color of last tile is same that is v0 equal to vn minus 1 okay if this is the case then what we will do we will simply just check that if in for loop we will check that if vj is equal to v0 that is if the tile is of same color of the first tile then we will count it and if the value of count is equal to k then we will break it okay so if count is equal to k then we will print yes otherwise we will print no okay but if your if the color of first tile and last tile is not same means it is different then then what we will do we will we will choose this method okay what we have done firstly we have started from first tile and jump up to that much so that the count of our similar color tile is equal to k okay so look here in else we have run one for loop from j j equal to 0 up to j less than n so if v j equal to v0 then count plus plus and if count equal to k then we store the index okay and we and then we make count equal to 0 and break it okay break the loop why we have stored the index this is because if we will store this index then for second for loop the second for loop is for the last color tile okay we have to count the last color tile also na so the second for loop is for the last color tile so we have stored the index of this one okay so that for next for loop we will start from the index next to this index okay that is the first for loop breaks here and the second for loop starts from here understood so if the count of our first for loop is equal to k then we will break it and we will start the second for loop from the next index okay where we have break the first for loop again for next for loop what we have to do we have to check that the tile of color the color of tile the color of tile is equal to means the color of tile is same as that of the color of last tile okay so we will check it here that is vj equal to v of n minus 1 if it is there then we will count it and if and the value of count is equal to k then we will break it with flag equal to 1 okay so if flag is equal to 1 it means that it means that we got k number of tiles of red color and k number of tiles of blue color okay then our flag is equal to 1 and then we will print yes but if k is equal to 0 this means that we got k equal to uh, we got red color tile equal to k but we can't able to get uh, blue color tile equal to k then our flag is equal to 0 and then we will print no so this is the basic code i hope you able to understand this
still if you have any doubt you can comment down below we will try to solve your doubt